Hello, our project boxes have arrived and before I can distribute them to you I have to do some additional things to them and I want to show you briefly what. So this is a box as it arrived from ElectroKit and what we have in here is well cables, a breadboard down there, a potentiometer, a real-time clock chip and a small bag with green LEDs and some other things which will be listed on Studium later on as well. So what I have to do or what I will do here now is first this potentiometer wouldn't fit on a breadboard in its current state. It has these two metal prongs here which are supposed to keep it safe on a printed circuit board. We don't need those so I'll cut them off. Number one, number two. Now it's compatible with a breadboard and can be used for our projects. Put it here. Then we have the real-time clock chip, or it's a module actually, where there goes a battery on one side and then there's two chips on the other side and we have these contacts on the side which are not either breadboard compatible. So what I have to do here is to solder these pins onto it and of course I didn't start my soldering iron before taking this video so I just do that. Luckily it's quite fast in starting. So I have solder wire tin here as well. 230, 240, 270 degrees Celsius and this is not my regular place to solder but it, it's good for now. So I take the pins, move them into the correct position, turn it around, lost the pins, turn it around and solder these pins starting with this pin here, K, and then everything is kept in place by this first pin and then I take the other three and here you are, ready for use. Then we have this bag with green LEDs and here you'll get some additional components. I'll put in three Neo pixel LEDs which we'll come back to later and two transistors in case we will need these later on and that's about it. So everything goes back into the box here. Hot soldering iron goes also somewhere and uh, yeah then the box becomes a number or gets a number. I have here this box will be box number 61. So those of you later on seeing box number 61 can see how it was made. Like this. I forgot one thing. I'll also put in a red plastic film which can be used to enhance the contrast on our LED displays. And of course I forgot to put in our microcontroller board here. So now box number 61 is complete. 